Hey, floss tube. Um, sorry, brain fart. No idea what I'm doing. Um, I decided that um, it was time for me to make my first video. And um, so for my first video, I'm going to do the Know Your Needleworker tag um, by Whimsy Daisical. Um, and thank you to Kate, Queen of Starts, for finding the tag list for me um, after I posted on Stitch Mania a couple of hours ago now. Um, just basically saying that I couldn't find the tag list anywhere. Um, I knew that someone had written a blog post about it and I couldn't find it. Um, so thank you to Tricia, Tricia, sorry, um, for writing them all down as well because it makes it so much easier as long as you remember to save the page, which I clearly didn't do. And I still haven't done, so I'm going to have to do that after this video. But I'll, I'll do that in a second. Um, so yeah, anyway, um, my name's Fiona, and I have been stitching since I was about eight years old. So, 19, 20 years? What am I, 27? 19 years. Um, I have been, right, I've known how to stitch. Um, I stopped stitching when I became a teenager and I started again when I stopped being a teenager. Um, due to stress at work, I just needed something to help me relax. And I thought, hey, I know how to do that. I'm going to do that. Um, actually, the design that got me back into stitching was a Joan Elliott mermaid that was the cover pattern of Cross Stitch Collection back in like 2008 and I am sad to say I bought the magazine I ripped the pattern out of the magazine because there was nothing else in the magazine that I wanted to do um and that pattern is still in my stash I still haven't stitched it I have bought the Ada that was they recommended the even weave version I bought the Ada the hand dyed Ada version um of the fabric and I have all the crinics and I have all the threads and I have all the beads and I haven't started it and I've had it since 2008. And I haven't done it yet. But I'll go around to it. I might do it next year. Um, if I do it next year, I'm definitely going to buy the even weave and do it on the even weave that was recommended rather than the Ada because I think it's going to look nicer on the even weave. And next year is my year for learning how to stitch on even weave and persevering with it. So anyway, um, I have a blog. And I will put a link in the description down below. Um, but it is crazystitching.blogspot.co.uk. Um, I haven't blogged since January. Um, just this year has been a bad year um, with home and stuff. Um, so I really haven't felt like blogging. And to be honest, I was still following blogs and someone was talking about floss tube a couple of months ago and that was how I found out about floss tube and since then I have been stitching non-stop but before that I hadn't stitched for about 18 months because I finished one major project at the start of 2014 which was if I can find it was this one um it is super mario through the ages mm -hmm. um it is by a uh the person's username is servotron um i'm fairly sure he designed it if he didn't i'm gonna feel really bad but it's on sprite stitch um and i'll put a link to that down below as well but it's sprite stitch.com just go to the pattern wiki which um kate the stash queen has posted up on the stitch mania page on facebook as well um, but this thing took me, like, four years to stitch. I think it was probably more like three, but it felt like longer to stitch. And so, yeah, after that, my stitchy bug kind of went on vacation and just didn't come back. Um, so I haven't stitched for about 18 months. But I'm really getting back into it now after watching all of your videos and seeing everything that you guys are doing and everything that you guys are buying. Um, so thank you for that. Um, I really appreciate it. Um, but yeah, so I'm stitching. I only have about seven projects on the go right now, but I'm think I'm thinking about, I've joined all of the stitch alongs for next year. Um, and I'm trying to figure out what I want to stitch from my stash for all of those. Um, so on my next video, I'll try and show 
everything that I'm already working on as well as some of my other finishes um, as well. But for now, I'm going to do the Know Your Needlework tag by Whimsy Daisical. Um, so question one is, where do you live? And I live in the UK and in a little town called Abingdon, just outside of Oxford. Um, and we've lived here for about, I still live with my parents and we've lived here for just over 22 years now. Um, it'll be 23 years, um, Easter next year. Um, cause we moved here when I was five. Um, um, I, but I was born in Cambridge. Um, so yeah, there we go. Uh, what do you do for a living is question number two. Um, so I work in retail. Um, I am the assistant manager of a clo uh, a small store for a clothing brand called Fat Face, um, which is a UK company. Um, but we are branching out to the US as well. We have a store opening in Boston, um, either later this month or in November. And by Christmas, we're hoping to have five stores in the Boston area. So anyone living in the Boston area, please go and check out the company. It's an amazing company to work for. Um, I've worked there for five years and it'll be five years next month. I'm very excited about it um, because we get given a little certificate to say, well done, you've worked here for five years. Start aiming for 10. Um, but it's great fun and I love it to pieces. Um, the fam, uh, the, the family, the, uh, the team that I work with is like a family. Um, and yeah, I just, I love it. So that's that. <laughs> um, do you, question number three is, do you have any kids? No, I don't have any kids. I don't think I ever really want to have kids. Um, a lot of my friends are starting to get married and settling down and they're having kids and I love their kids. I love seeing their kids and babysitting their kids and spending time with them. But I like the fact that I can give them back at the end. I, I Luckily, my partner kind of feels the same way about kids as I do. Um, so, yeah. No kids. Not yet. Maybe never. But that's fine. Uh, do you have any pets is question number four. And I do. Um, I have two cats. Um, Twiglet and uh, Tigger. Um, we did originally have Twiglet. Um, and we got Twiglet, um, kind of as a stray. She actually belonged to the lady who lived over the road, um, from us and Twiglet just kept coming into our house. And then one day we noticed that she was a bit fatter than she had been before. Um, so we spoke to this lady because she has quite a lot of cats. And um, we were like, do you have a cat that's currently pregnant? And she said, yeah, I haven't seen her for a couple of days. Where is she? And we were like, she's in our living room. Um, and she was like, well, she's clearly made herself at home. You can keep her. She's clearly happier with you than she is with me. You can have her. Um, we're like, okay, cool. Um, we'll try and find homes for the kittens. She had five kittens. Um, she had five black and white ones and two ginger ones. And uh, she's a tortoiseshell tabby, I probably should have said. Um, and so my brother and his partner took two of the kittens and then we kept two of the black kittens. And then we kept uh, a little black kitten who was mine and I called him Vader. And we kept the two ginger ones and we called them Tigger and Toffee. And uh, they would have been one in May, just gone. Uh, well, just gone a couple of months ago. And at the start of May, we live right by a busy main road and um, Vader got hit by traffic, which was really sad. And then about two weeks later, T uh, Toffee got hit as well. So we lost two of them. Um, so, yeah, <laughs> it's a bit sad, but it's fine. I'm OK. And um, yeah, so now we've just got... Uh, Twiglet and Tigger and they're lovely <laughs> mental but lovely um, so yeah that's that uh, question number five is do you have any hobbies besides cross stitching um, one of my biggest hobbies is video gaming I'm a complete Nintendo fangirl Mario over there um, I have pretty much every Nintendo console you care to mention um and an awful lot of games. 
Um, and I do play them all, mostly. Um, and other than that, I love reading. Um, I absolutely love reading. Um, I think that's kind of it. Is that kind of sad? I don't really do anything. I, I crossed it or a game. I actually very rarely read now. I love reading. I just don't have the time in between work and gaming and cross stitch. I just don't have the time to do it anymore. Um, so that's that. Um, favorite movie? What is your favorite movie? Is the next question. And this one I'm finding really difficult to answer. I've been thinking about these answers for a while. And you wouldn't know it with the amount of times I'm saying um and uh. But my favorite movie. Yeah. My favourite movie is probably, um, probably Nightmare Before Christmas. It's, it's the film that I watch every year and I never get sick of seeing it. Um, yeah, so probably Nightmare Before Christmas is going to be my answer for that one right now. Sorry guys, parents were talking. Um, so I had to pause and go and tell them to be quiet. Unfortunately, they're deaf, so they don't actually hear how loud they're actually talking to each other um, all the time. But that's a story for another day. Um, where did I get up to? Favourite movie, I think. Yeah, we were talking about Nightmare Before Christmas. I absolutely love that movie. Um, I'm just going to start listing movies now. I love The Hobbit. Um, I love... The Lord of the Rings. I love. I loved Jurassic World. Oh my God, Jurassic World. I. I am. I do not remember. Um, Jurassic. I actually only watched Jurassic Park for the first time a couple of years ago, so I don't. Rem I. I never saw Jurassic Park or the other two films in the cinema. But oh my God, Jurassic World was amazing. Loved it. Very excited for Star Wars as well later on in the year. But oh. Jurassic World's coming out on DVD soon. So excited. Um, anyway, moving on. Uh, next question is favourite TV show. And again, this is one I kind of struggled with because I have three that I can think of. Four. <laughs> Just thought of another one. Four that I can think of off the top of my head. And they are Doctor Who, Sherlock, Castle, and Firefly. Those are my favourites. I'm very excited because... Uh, the BBC have just so, uh, shown the trailer for the Sherlock Christmas special. And oh my God, I'm so excited. So excited. Even if they have just turned around and said that Series 4 is not coming out until 2017. That's not on. Yeah. But never mind. We have Doctor Who. I will live with Doctor Who because Peter Capaldi. Peter Capaldi. <laughs> is finally starting to grow on me as a doctor. And I've noticed this ha this pattern has happened every single time. I didn't like Christopher Eccleston the first time I watched it. Second time I watched it, absolutely loved it. David Tennant, I loved him from the word go. It's David Tennant, what's not to love? Matt Smith, again, I wasn't sure about him the first time. I, it got It wasn't until the second series that he did that I thought, no, I really like his Doctor. And by that time, they were sort of getting ready to kill him off. And I was like, I've only just started to like him. They can't change it. I know we had another season after that, but I was like... <laughs> and then the 50th anniversary special, I was a bit like, meh, not sure. I need to watch it again, to be honest. I've only seen it twice, which as a Whovian is just terrible. Um... But yeah, then Peter Capaldi came along and I was like, oh, okay. They've gone older. And I kind of get that with the whole storyline. I'm not going to give it away for those of you that haven't seen it. Um, but it was kind of like he... Yeah, I, I kind of went... Why, I, I got why they went older. But yeah, I was kind of like, he's trying too hard to fit in or trying to find his feet. Um, but with this new series, it's, it's definitely better. Um, so that's Doctor Who. Um, Castle, I am an absolutely massive Nathan Fillion fan. I love Nathan Fillion. Um, I, I loved him in Firefly. 
Um, and then I'd heard about Castle, but I'm not really a cop drama, cop show kind of person. So I wasn't really too sure about it. My mum loves things like NCIS and um, Sue Thomas FBI and uh, Murdoch Mysteries and all those kind of sort of cop shows, especially um, Sue Thomas FBI because it's about a deaf woman who works at the FBI and so being deaf herself, she has that kind of link and she really enjoys that kind of, that program. It's really annoying that it's not available on DVD in the UK, but oh well. Um, it's on TV all the time and besides the DVDs that are available in America are not subtitled, which is stupid because it's a TV show about a deaf person. Why would it not be subtitled? Anyway, um, yeah, so I loved uh, Nathan Fillion in Firefly and I'd heard about his new show Castle, but I literally got into it earlier this year. Um, so my parents for my birthday bought me the entire series one to seven box set and I haven't finished it yet, which is annoying because series eight is almost finished now. Um, at least in the UK, I know it's been finished in the States for a while now, but, um, here in the UK, we get it a little bit later than you guys. So we're a little bit further behind. Um, and I'm a lot further behind, but that, that's fine. I'll, I'll catch up at some point. Um, I have a week's holiday coming up, so I might um watch it then i don't know um and then firefly what can i say about firefly other than that it was cut short way too soon it was an amazing show um if you haven't seen it i urge you to check it out there are only 14 episodes it is sad but it's it's such a good show and it just kind of starts finding its feet and then that's it it's over and it's like oh okay but it, it's so much fun to watch. And Nathan Fillion as a young man is just stunning to look at. So yeah, fangirl moment, sorry. Um, other shows that I enjoy are, I like watching NCIS as well and Murdoch Mysteries now because mum watches it all the time. Um, I like, I love Pokemon and Adventure Time. Um, I, I still love watching kids cartoon shows. Um, and stuff, particularly Pokemon. It's so much so that I'm actually buying the DVDs from Australia because, again, you cannot get them in this country. Um, I loved Invader Zim, um, the kids' cartoon show, um, before Nickelodeon refused to show it in this country ever again. Um, again, so much so that I bought um, a region-free Blu-ray player uh, and DVD player before that um, so that I could buy the American version of the DVDs and I spent a small fortune on them from eBay because they weren't available um, at the time that I bought them. Um, they were out of print. So I've got those. Oh, what other TV shows do I like? I like Agents of S.H.I.E.L.D. Um, I'm a massive fan of the Marvel movies as well. Um, so going back to the previous question. Um, so I think I have probably rambled on about TV long enough. That's, that's why I don't have any hobbies. I spend all my time gaming, watching TV or cross-stitching. Um, let's move on to favourite book because that list is just a little bit shorter. Uh, my favourite book is without a doubt Alice in Wonderland, um, going classically. It's Alice in Wonderland or The Wizard of Oz. The only book I have read in the entire Oz series is The Wizard of Oz. Garrett, please don't judge me. Um, I'm sorry. Uh, I will get around to uh, reading the rest of them. But at the minute, The Wizard of Oz is the only one I've I've read. It's the same with the Narnia books. I've only read The Lion, the Witch and the Wardrobe um, because it was a good book. Um, but I love, 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 love Ink Heart by Cornelia Falk. If you haven't read this book and you like things like Alice in Wonderland, I urge you to read this book. It is amazing. If you don't want to read it, then at least watch the film. The film isn't anywhere near as good as the book because no film except maybe Harry Potter and even Harry Potter bugs me in places because I'm British and things bug me but Ink High is an amazing amazing book it is one of three um the other ones are Ink Spell and Ink Death and they are just as amazing but this one 
I wanted to be the girl in this book. Um, so that's that one. It is a children's book as well. It's like a young reader's sort of book. I mean, the font is kind of tiny, but not too tiny. Um, so that's that one. Um, what other books do I like? There is uh, an alternative version of Alice in Wonderland called Looking Glass Wars. And actually, if I angle the camera, let me see slightly further. That is my bookshelf. I actually only have two rows of books, which is probably the least amount of books I've ever read in my life. Um, but yeah, I have, I love Harry Potter. Um, I'm British, how could I not love Harry Potter? It's Harry Potter, how can you not love Harry Potter? Um, I love the Aragon books. I love um, Northern Lights by Philip Pullman. Um, it's called The Golden Compass in America. Uh, again, the movie was terrible, but the book is amazing. And the rest of the series of those books is absolutely amazing. And I urge, it's based in Oxford as well, which is kind of, it's not my hometown. My hometown is Cambridge, but it is where I have spent the majority of my life. And it feels more like home than Cambridge ever will. So, yeah, I love the Hunger Games. I love, I, I did love Twilight when it was a book don't judge me um but the movies kind of ruined them so i don't actually own the books anymore either because i can't get past her terrible terrible performance and to anyone that likes christian stewart as an actress that's your prerogative i hate her as an actress um so yeah um what other books do i have i have peter pan i love peter pan uh, the Twisted Version of Alice in Wonderland, The Looking Glass Wars by Frank Bador is an amazing, amazing version of Alice in Wonderland where Alice is uh, the daughter of the Queen of Hearts, not the evil, nasty, wicked one from the Disney films and from the book. That is her evil... <coughs> excuse me. Her evil Aunt Red. Um, so she is Princess Alice, Um and her Aunt Red kills her mother and banishes her to um, our world instead of out of Wonderland. And um, yeah, it's a really, really, really good twisted version of uh, Alice in Wonderland where the Mad Hatter is um, a milliner guard thing. Uh, and the cat, the, the Cheshire cat, is an assassin sent to kill Alice. Um, it's just, it's an amazing, amazing series. And the more I talk about it, the more I want to read it again. So I definitely urge you to read that one if you haven't already. It's it's brilliant. Um, favourite music is the next question. What is your favourite music? Um, I absolutely adore the Goo Goo Dolls. Um, I've been to see them live twice, um, and I would love to go and see them again. Um, I think they're playing in February in this country. I think it's February. Maybe. I think they're playing next year. Um, so I would really love to go and see them again. Um, the other band that I really, really love is, uh, Bowling for Soup and Patent Pending. And I've been to see Bowling for Soup three times now and Patent Pending I've been to see twice. And every single time. It's been absolutely amazing. I love seeing bands live that sound the same on the album that they do in person. Because um, a lot of singers nowadays, you find that when you see them live, they're butchering their own songs. And I don't like that. But that's just me. I don't listen to an awful lot of music. A lot of my friends are like, oh my God, how can you not listen to music? And it's because I grew up in a deaf household. There is no, we don't listen to the radio. We don't listen to music because they can't hear it so where most families would have it on as ambient sound in the background I don't have that so yeah I just I don't listen to an awful lot of music I listen to music in my car I don't listen to the radio and I can drive in silence perfectly happily uh, which again they find weird but that's that's just who I am and last question finally we are 24 and a half nearly 25 minutes in um one word what is one word to describe you and I would probably say unique because everybody is unique um 
I don't know. I don't. It's really hard to kind of describe yourself in one word without sounding like vain or pig headed. Um, let's go with Hoovian. Maybe. Uh, I don't know. I, I can't think of a word to describe me. Based on what you found out in this video, write a, a comment down below. One word. How would you describe me? I won't be offended no matter what you put. <laughs> um, that is all of those tags. Uh, all of those questions for that tag. Sorry. Um, hopefully you've enjoyed watching this video. I promise next time it will be a lot more stitchy related. Um, and there will be a lot more stitching stuff. Hopefully some stash to show off as well. Um, but I hope you've enjoyed listening to me ramble for 26 minutes almost. And, um, thank you very much. I definitely enjoy watching your videos and hopefully, um, I'll be able to make another one soon. But in the meantime, thank you very much for watching. I hope everybody has a great stitchy week and I will see you all again soon. Bye.